Let's rehearse. So quickly review D, A, E, third fret, G. When you get to the bridge, B, second fret. Pause this and go back to whatever you need. Alrighty. Um, but yeah, just remember some of those key things in the bridge. So little thing on what's happening over here, you can kind of rest your thumb on the end of the fretboard. You can kind of just rest it on the guitar too, but it gives you a bit of an anchor point. But using your second and third fingers, pretty good practice. So D, then A, two, three, then E, two, three, third finger, G, two, three, four, something like that. You can switch between them. Yep. Let's just try a verse. Here we go. One, two, starting on D, two, three, four, A, two, three, mute it, E, two, three, mute, G, two, three. So on the fourth count, I'm muting with this hand. You can kind of slap it if you want, but it's nice to just softly touch it. So D, two, three, and mute, A, two, three, and mute, E, two, three, and mute, G, two, three, and mute. Verse, chorus, verse, let's practice the bridge. So you've got three, three repeats of B, G, B, G, B, G, and then we go E, G, A. So E for four, G for two, A for two, and then straight back into our normal progression. So let's do our bridge. So it's after we've gone from, oh, how quickly they forget, into the B, three, four, second fret. They aren't gonna help us. Too easy helping them. B, two, three, da -da. then the G, two, three, four, back to B, two last time, then to G, then down to E, open, E, two, three, for two counts. G, two, A, two, D, back into your chord progression. A, two, three, mute. E, two, three, mute. G, two, three, mute. D, two, three, mute, A, two, three, mute, E, two, three, mute, G, two, three, mute. So following along with your notation, um, if you need it, uh, it's all there, don't worry about it. If it says minor, that's more for guitarists and piano players, it doesn't change the bass note. Um, so you're just looking at the first letter there. Um, yeah, and then you can add fancier rhythms lock in with the drums because bass and drums is your rhythm section. So if you want to do more than just one note per chord, per bar, I want you to follow what the drums are doing, which is the mm, ka, mm, mm, ka. So your rhythm would be D, 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 A, 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 A E, 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 G, E, G. And you can slap it like this. D, D, D. A, 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 E, 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 G, G, G. Revising these. Open D. Open A. Open E. Third fret G. Yeah, that's the top string. B, second string, second fret. Two, three, four, etc. So practice along with your backing track. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of versions. One slower, one faster. Um, the proper tempo is 95, so you want to eventually get up to the fast version. See if you can challenge yourself and do the locking with the drums. All right, happy practicing.